Jamie, I saw the no- the news about your deal in Boise Bay. Can you give us an update about what's happening there? Well, thanks, Tracy. It, initially, it looks perhaps bad because we're seeing Ivanhoe drop out of our project. But in fact, it I think is excellent news. We own 75% of South Boise Bay, uh, along with Commander Resources at 25%. We now have an opportunity to get, get out there and really get a, a partner that's looking to uh, develop nickel. And, you know, we're, we know there's nickel in almost every drill hole. We know there's majors out there like BHP and Cobalt. Cobalt's looking for, you know, artificial intelligence uh, assets. And um, that's the type of partner that we want to attract. You know, Ivanhoe was great, no doubt about it, but um, they've got bigger fish to fry down in Arizona on copper. And, um, you know, I think we're going to feel energized now by uh, being able to get out there and, and really develop uh, what's happening in South Boise Bay. And what an excellent point that you've made, Jamie. Sometimes people read news releases and they conclude incorrectly. So I'm so grateful that you have the time to give us an update here. And also, you were touching on graphite a lot in your earlier investor talk. And we love graphite at Investor Intel. What's going on with the graphite? Well, again, there's another example of drilling for nickel and getting kind of disappointing results because you hit 40 or 50 meters of graphite. And um, in this geophysical target that measures probably eight kilometers long, and all of a sudden you start looking into what what you've got and uh, realize that there's a real good potential to create graphite, which is of the high quality that would go into, say, battery uh, materials. And so we've, we've sent that core to uh, SGS and Lakefield, who are, have looked at almost every graphite deposit in Canada, all the Quebec ones, uh, which is where we are. And um, we're looking at upgrading that. Um, we need to get over 95% concentrate uh, to be interesting. And uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to be over that number. Uh, once we uh, report uh, how we've processed this. I found that very interesting, but also uh, many of you out there at Investor and tell me not, you know, we've been in this industry a long time. So, you know, Jamie, we know quite a bit about your background and your amazing career. So when you stepped into Fjordland Exploration, many of us noted this, and this is a company you pointed out that's had 30 to 40 million invested in it to date. Well, when we're looking at South Boise Bay, um, that particular project in itself had 30 or $40 million invested in it over the years. It started in 1996. Um, they, you know, they, they hit a real nice hole over a meter of 12% nickel. And that really set off a, a frenzy. Uh, in fact, uh, you know, on the, in the area, tech geologists were there. They landed on a hill, they called it uh, Mineral Hill, and they said, this looks exactly like Boise Bay. And that's why it's called South Boise Bay. So we had all the players in there. They spent a ton of money. Um, Obviously, it petered out after 2000 with markets and things and nickel. And um, but, uh, you know, obviously, nickel is 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 hot right now. Um, We need it uh, to move. forward with with batteries and and the, and the electrification of the grid and where we want to go and um, I think it's a terrific opportunity there a lot of lot lot and a lot of information uh, that can be reworked so during the investor talk you mentioned you're the drilling you're a drilling focused mind and company you've got this property with all these battery materials nickel copper mm-hmm. graphite what should shareholders be looking forward to in this next quarter? I think they're looking for us to announce um, a number of different initiatives um, on, on the various pro- properties and projects as we go forward. Um, and those could be anything from new lithium prospects, um, new partners for South Boise Bay, uh, new graphite um, analysis and, uh, you know, where's copper gold going in, uh, in BC? Well, as always, for more information, please go to the Fjordland Exploration website. 
send us an email. We'll get it over to Jamie. Jamie, thank you for giving us such a wonderful update today. Thanks, Tracy. It's always a pleasure.